Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 5th, 2020. So let's grab ourselves something to drink. Let's settle in. Let's get all focused on our charts and let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, I'm starting out here with the NASDAQ chart. Um, we just, <laughs> this is just really an incredible market. Um, there seems to be um, nothing that will stop. We, we had kind of a mixed bag of earnings last night, but it really doesn't seem to matter. Um, early this morning, there was an unconfirmed report. There is an unconfirmed report out of Chinese television that there is some kind of drug that will solve the issues with the virus. Um, once that news came out, futures just spiked right up. Um, Dow futures were up at one point, over 300. And um, right now the uh, World Health Organization has come out and said, hey, <laughs> they're really downplaying that as if uh, they can't even confirm that such a thing exists. So just be really careful this morning where the market is just ravenous here. It doesn't seem to matter where, what stock positions, uh, where they are, whether they're parabolic like Tesla, doesn't matter. We continue to buy. Um, it's very reminiscent of the run up, the tech run up in 1999. So let's party like it's 1999, but let's be smart and be careful about how we enter trades, where we enter trades, and careful not to chase. So this morning, looking at the NASDAQ here, you can see breaking new record highs yesterday and leapt up to that new record high and is once again leaping up this morning so becoming very very extended here in the indexes and just an interesting situation here um, overall in this market there seems to be no concern whatsoever about anything else going on in the world let's take a look at um, the the diamonds Diamonds um, rallied strongly yesterday, running right into price resistance. Now this morning on this unconfirmed report, we're gonna bust through that um, resistance and really plow higher here, um, up into the resistance of this downtrend where we run into that downtrend somewhere up in here. So um, uh, once again, just ripping higher here. Um, with absolutely no concerns about anything else that's going on. When it comes to the virus situation, the news keeps rolling out, and right now we seem to be choosing to ignore the fact that we have nearly 500 deaths right now and nearly 25,000 confirmed cases as this number continues to increase. Just keep in mind, guys, that when we went into the last weekend, we were looking at less than 10,000 cases. So we have more than doubled in one week of these cases and nobody seems to care. That's okay as long as we make sure that we're trading correctly and we're not chasing trades. So please keep in mind, the market can be irrational, the market can, and maybe I'm the one irrational, but what we wanna make sure is make sure that we are taking trades in the proper place and not chasing into these moves. So right now, just rampant bullishness here in the market. There just seems to be nothing that the market will not buy. It doesn't matter how high a price a stock goes, it doesn't matter whether or not they really had great earnings we just buy right now and that is something that I always want to be careful and cautious of let's take a look at the spy SPY this morning set for another big gap up and we'll be rising up here to maybe even challenge whoops challenge um, resistance highs overall resistance highs um, in the market so 
Um, we have a big potential move coming this morning. We're going to push right back up in here into these all-time highs here of the S&P 500. And with the NASDAQ reaching out to new highs, there's really no reason to believe why we couldn't push right on through. Buyers just um, can't seem to get enough risk right now. And we could push right on through that resistance high. So just be careful that you're not chasing. Let's take a look at... <coughs> Pardon me. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also moving higher this morning, getting a nice gap up. We're looking at a breakthrough of this price resistance area here in the chart. If I pull this back, you can see that price resistance right in here and we're pushing back up through there so we stopped yesterday just kind of right in the tracks on that resistance but now we're gapping above that um, once again on this unconfirmed report that would make me a little bit nervous and chasing into the market this morning if all of a sudden the the report comes out and says yeah that's not true and and the market responds um back down so we'll have to watch wait and see just be really really careful about chasing into this market there's no fear um, or very little fear and if we take a look at the VIX we can see that oops We've got the VIX pushing back down into this price support level. We ended up holding onto that price support yesterday, but this morning with this big gap up, I'm expecting us to drop below this level um, and maybe even continue selling on down here in the VIX. Now we do have this downtrend of this breakout that could serve as some support. So let's watch that as we pull back. And there's a little bit of price support across the top of these highs. But watch that as it pulls back. Fear right now just, like I said, we can't seem to buy enough risk right now. Um, everyone just um, is uh, um, in this amazing chase of higher and higher prices in the market. So just watch that closely. If we happen to catch some fear in here for some reason, watch for that potential to spike back up. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is that four week new high, new low ra ratio. You can see we've gone from this oversold condition and we crossed all the way back up here. We're up over that 60 uh, percent area here in this recovery back up the gap up this morning could easily push us right up into here so we go in two days from oversold to potentially overbought we'll want to watch that pretty closely just in case um, a little bit of rationality comes into the market and we start um, seeing some profit taking so be careful here um, what this does tell us uh, for sure is that we have plenty of upside room to move and we've opened up a big door to the downside as well so uh, both of those are possible in the market today um, one thing about t2122 is it doesn't tell us which way the market should go it just gives us those indications when we've reached overbought or oversold conditions Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a few things that we want to make note of today. First off, we have the ADP report. We we'll want to pay attention to that ADP report. We also have international trade in goods. And then later on uh, this morning here at 1030, we have the EIA Petroleum Status Report. I forgot, I should have said the ISM. The ISM report and then the EIA Petroleum Status Report. Note that we have a Fed speaker on the calendar uh, for today, but I doubt we learn anything new um, as that comes along. So watch those key reports as they continue to roll out this morning. And keep in mind, we have this big report heading into Friday. It's not uncommon for the market to get a little bit stale and boring ahead of that report. Um, that's a that's one of those really big numbers that the market keys on so let's watch that close now i don't expect this to be um, overall bearish or anything either so in fact it could prove to be very very bullish so let's watch that um, pretty co closely here as we move toward that um, but i don't want to give the impression that any of these numbers might be bearish 
right now there just doesn't seem to be anything that um, even if even if the report isn't all that great the market wants to be bought up so bulls just um, are pushing higher and continue to push higher um, again we're just partying like crazy here to the upside and there seems to be very little regard to the risk um, when we see stocks like tesla um, being purchased in parabolic um, positions that's that becomes very very concerning to me when we're when we're seeing um, just no concern here and everyone rushing into risk very concerning so you want to just be really careful and make sure you're buying those stocks at the right place um, and have a manageable risk in that situation so just make sure you're thinking about that when you plan your trades and not being over rambunctious to uh, jump in or chase a stock well within its move already so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you great profits in your trading and if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube also click um, that bell icon so you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find this video to be worthy if you find it to be useful to you please make sure and click that thumbs up button and, and leave a comment helps us continue to grow this channel reach more folks and hopefully do a better job in their preparation for the day the purpose of these videos is just to kind of step away from that emotion that affects us all as traders and getting caught up in the drama of the day really looking at the technicals what the chart is telling us and how we might want to approach the market for the day so once again if you find those helpful please um, thank you and to, you know support the channel by clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments and I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that so let's take a look at a few stocks that um, will be of interest today we have quite a few stocks on the earnings front that we'll want to be paying attention to um, stocks um, some of the key stocks TWLO will be reporting it looks like they have reported already this morning we'll be gapping up we have Merck reporting this morning looks like Merck has reported and is gapping down another one of those mixed um, result kind of days um, Humana gapping just slightly up this morning it looks like on its report um, IRBT IRBT getting a little tiny gap up this morning trying to push higher um, on that news how about Qualcomm Qualcomm will be um, gapping up this morning look at that we got a nice little bullish move and Qualcomm um, Spotify Spotify gapping down on its results this morning GoPro GoPro looks like it hasn't reported yet today Grubhub also reporting today maybe showing just a tiny little bit of bullishness this morning I can't tell whether or not that is reported uh, maybe an afternoon report I'm not sure but we've got quite a few reports moving us around as you can see a, a little bit of a mixed bag already and um, doesn't seem to be affecting the futures at the moment so lots of earnings reports um, about 160 over 160 today but currently Dow futures are still pointing up a, for a gap up of nearly 200 points this morning they've given back about a hundred of those after that um, uh, well looks to be a false story on um, um, uh, virus drugs so uh, kind of an interesting situation let's take a look at um, a few stocks that could be setting up now before we do that I want to make sure and mention to everyone that every time I post a stock in in these videos it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security it is merely something that you should be putting into an evaluation maybe putting it on a watch list making sure that it fits you personally as a trade there are quite a few stocks out there um, that are showing some really good signs some of them are very very extended we're gonna have to be really really careful of that let's take a 
a look at XLP. XLP, I've mentioned a couple, three times. XLP, uh, that consumer uh, staples sector, when the market starts getting a little bit nervous, we're, we're seeing that volatility kick up here a little bit. We often see things like consumer staples hold up pretty well. You might want to go into this consumer staples sector, look for some stocks that are looking pretty good right now because they are... Um, trying to um, break through this little downtrend. You can see we pushed up yesterday, tried to break through, had a little bit of pullback in it. But let's watch this in here. If we can get moving, there may be some opportunity in that consumer staples area. Considering um, the nervousness of the market, the volatility that's in the market, keep an eye on some of these stocks that are in the defensive sector, like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola remaining very, very strong here. Trying to pop up yesterday and a little bit of pullback. Watch this for that consolidation over here toward the trend. There still may be some great opportunity in Coca-Cola. I saw PepsiCo yesterday. PepsiCo looking pretty good as well in this nice little consolidation move right in here. You can see we have this beautiful upside trend. So as this consolidates in this area, let's watch for that opportunity for that to move up. Um, Monster Beverage is one that I brought up yesterday and one that I think everyone should be keeping an eye on. This gapped up <clears throat> out of this nice little tight consolidation where we held this price support. Gapped up and pulled back and then yesterday fired back in, buyers picking it up in here. And as you can see, looking pretty good. Monster Beverage, another one of those defensive sector stocks, looking very, very good. So keep an eye on that uh, chart. Um, Hershey. Hershey, another defensive sector stock. Now, this one moved big on an earnings report and has now pulled back into its trend. Um, pretty substantial pullback. So I can't tell you for sure whether this is going to move higher or really break down. But one thing I want to pay attention to is when a stock pulls back and reacts to its trend in here, I want to be watching for that opportunity for that next entry signal if it does fire up off of that support area. So watch that close. Hershey, another one of those defensive sector stocks looking pretty darn good. Other stocks out there, take a look at Shopify. Shopify, by a long ways away from a defensive sector stock, but really firing up and looking good, breaking through um, an alert that I had on the chart, moving higher here. Um, uh, everything seems to be copacetic here right now for uh, Shopify. Uh, I know it's kind of an expensive stock for a lot of folks, but boy, that thing is really moving right now and looking good in this trend. Twitter is um, one of those cheaper stocks that we can keep an eye on. Now, please note that Twitter is going to report here tomorrow. And Twitter um, it can be very volatile around its earnings reports. But I was watching this pretty closely and noticing, you know, this gap above, and you can see earnings is likely going to mess that up. So we, we popped up yesterday and um, looking pretty strong this morning as well, holding up. And as we move into that earnings report, anything is possible here, but one to definitely watch. And after that earnings report, there may be an opportunity in that trade. Take a look at CRWD. I mentioned this one yesterday in the morning video. CRWD firing up here a little bit yesterday, popping through, and you can see it's trying to move a little bit higher this morning. Be careful chasing something like this, but any rest consolidation or pullback could set up a, a, an opportunity into that trade and CRWD looking really, really good overall. Another chart I've brought up over and over and over in these videos as we waited for this little consolidation is AAXN and yesterday it made its move. It popped up here pretty strong, nice bullish candle and um, looking good. So we'll wanna watch that. That's a big breakout here in AAXN, one that everyone should be keeping an eye on. It could provide a pretty good opportunity. Johnson & Johnson um, looked really good yesterday, gapping up on the news and pulling back by the end of the day and you can see it's gapping up once again this morning um, on this bullishness so J&J &J looking pretty strong and continuing 
um, in this move up to the upside. Um, I'm watching this and, and as full disclosure here, I am actually in this trade and have a very nice profit in this position. And I've also hedged this position, but looking pretty good and coming back around something we want to keep an eye on um, in that chart. <clears throat> looking overall pretty strong so lots of stocks out there to to, to pick and choose from um, take a look at shake shack shake shack coming back up we have this gap above that could be filled and one of the things that i always look for in a price pattern is if we break a support level it is a requirement before i'm going to be even interested in this a, a little bit you must recover that support prove to hold it so we might want to keep an eye on Shake Shack. If this can hold in here, it doesn't report until 224. So there's plenty of opportunity. If that holds in here, we could actually see that rallying up, filling that gap. Shake Shack might be one that you want to put on your list. And last but not least this morning, I'm going to bring up Lulu. Lulu, um, I've talked about this one several times, popping up um, here really nicely. Um, Yes, or the day before yesterday and getting a little tiny follow through yesterday. Now watch this close. If that can hold up in here, that may continue to fire on higher. We just seem to love those stretchy pants. So everything's looking really, really good here in Lulu. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here and thanks for um, all of the kind support to this channel. You guys are just awesome. I want to wish you all a great day of profit. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.